Hello guys, welcome to another stream, another Tailbone stream. <laughs> um, this weekend, it's, I mean, welcome to another Road to TG Worlds 2018, I guess. If you want to leave a like on YouTube, it's very welcomed. You're hanging out with me today on Twitch. Thanks so much for being here. Um, thank you to all who have uh, stopped by. Henry, Apples and Shoes, David, um, LA, and... Yandelmas, <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. Now, this weekend we have the special event number two in Mexico City. Um, after getting some amount of points in Cancun, I went up to second place in Latin America, but after some more tournaments, I'm back in fourth. So, um, we probably won't have enough people to get top 16 points this time around. So, my intention is to get out of this lump to practice as much as I can and um, make at least top eight, right? To get those 100 points, uh, bump myself upwards in the rankings, create a buffer between myself and fifth place. And I wanna do this with a very positive attitude. So, hey, Trainer Chip, thank you for joining us. Um, so, um, I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be grinding out today, um, probably, or I'm gonna try at least, to grind a, uh, around, I don't know, 10 games or so with this deck. And then the other deck that I'm contemplating is Zorobod. Um, no changes to the list whatsoever. Um, from the original winning list, I don't think any changes um, should be should be done. I mean, the only thing I would possibly want is a second Rockruff. And I tried that out, dropping a Regirock. Um, there's a really low echo, yeah. Uh, that was because I had the, you have the video preview on the Twitch dashboard and it was uh, <laughs> doing that echo. Um, hello Jedi, thanks so much for joining. Mr. Rayleigh, thank you. Kaiser, Collapsing Gribble, <laughs> Jan Del Mas, buenos dias. Thank you guys so much for being here. So, um, hardcore grinding with Boss Rock on the ladder. Buenas tardes, team. Um, hardcore grinding with Boss Rock and hardcore grinding with uh, zero pod. So let's jump right into it. I'm not gonna go over the list I already went over it in a previous video. If you're looking for that I'm sure you can find it on my youtube channel. It's one of the most recent or it's the latest puzzle uh, like and rock video <laughs> Hello UCFN and so let's start the grind. You just tried four baby boss. How did that work out? How did four baby boss work out? Okay, so I'm just going to write down write down the this is baby buzzle like and rock and we're gonna play at least five probably gonna try and make it 10 games okay probably gonna try and make it 10 games so let me change this to this so that you guys can see the bits which i know you guys want to and we're gonna start Red Rock immediately. I wish this was a rock rough, but it's fine. We have a very decent hand. If we were going first, this would be a pretty good hand. Um, but anyways, um, this deck is hard to use. It is indeed. Uh, we're up against Ultra and Charisma Malamar. You drop the Rage and add one more B plus. I feel like Red Rock is very important, especially against this sort of deck, because they because with Red Rock you can actually hit. Hello, um, Atre, and thank you for the follow, Collapsing Gribble. Um, with, 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 um, with Rage Rock, you can hit for 200 damage with Baby Puzzle and Sledgehammer. And that's pretty good. Okay, so Lycan Rock is not prized. The Remorade line is not prized. We don't have any Pokemon prize, so we do have um, one Stadium prized. We have two Guzmas prized, and we have one Choice Band and one Floatstone and the Beast Energy. Those are our six prizes. So um, I think Red Drug is still quite important to the deck. Am I going to Ultra Ball here? I don't think so. Well, I might actually. No, I don't think I'm going to Ultra Ball gonna hit this elixir which is awesome and then i think i commit the choice band here 
I'm hoping, assuming my rock crop will survive. Now the question is, do I N or do I not N? We know my opponent's hand is not great. Um, my hand isn't super stellar either, and I would really like to get a, an energy drop this turn. Um, how highly do you recommend keep a spreadsheet of the decks a person uses during the season? Um, I started kind of doing it. Um, I started kind of doing it. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's super, super important. It's just, it's nice to know, right? It's nice to know trends and maybe that helps you visualize which decks you're doing well with and like which decks suit your style more. I mean, that would be very valuable, I think. And hello, Sir Panish. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, just got back from doing some shopping for Father's Day. Very nice, Jedi. Cool wireless charging base for 20. That's pretty nice. Okay, so we see the... NK discarding Cynthia and N. Um, I'm hoping, yeah, okay, so we see another Cynthia, that's fine. So the Rockruff survives, which is great, great news, right? Rockruff surviving is great news. And if my opponent benches another NK, we can actually knock this guy out because we can Lele for, uh, for Kuzma, Ultra Wolf for the Lycan Rock, and GX knock that guy out. Um, and that seems to be my opponent's plan. Now, that would activate... Um, I mean, that might be too hardcore here, though. That might actually be too hardcore. Uh, the one thing I do know... Okay, I mean, it might be worth it, because it's not like he's gonna easily power this guy up, unless he has B-String. He would need B-String and a Psychic, or B-String and a Choice Man, but he committed the Choice Man here. Um, I have not had time to watch the comedian yet. I know. I'm sorry. Um, I've been super busy, super, super busy. And then I definitely want to set up Remoraid here. I mean, getting Diancy is also there's also merit to getting Diancy. No, but I can get Diancy next turn. Yeah, I'll set up the Remoraid, and then I think I'm gonna go. <sighs> I'm gonna go after that Ultra Necrozma here. The question is, do I discard the choice band? I think I do discard the choice band. I could just go for a supporter here, but I don't fancy my chances of hitting. Because if I don't hit a float zone, I'm not doing much. Like, I won't be doing anything this turn. I only have two float zones. I think this is a more reliable way to do it. This is a more reliable way to do it. I'm not a big fan of doing it this way, but <clears throat> I think I have to. And yeah, I'm gonna keep that energy so we'll get Lycan Rock. Uh, I do need to update the CP. <laughs> yeah, I still haven't done that, I'm sorry. Um, so we won't be using the ability. And then we will be using Kuzma. Yeah, I for a second I thought I didn't have enough. Hello Mancha, thanks so much for being here. Now, do I commit this energy here or do I just attach it to the baby buzz? I think I'm gonna attach it here <laughs> thank you so much for the football bits those are so cool those are actually so cool um yeah close slash 110 130 160 oh if i had gotten diancy i could have claw slashed that's actually very silly i did not make that count that's a that's a mistake i feel that's a mistake well maybe it isn't that mistake but Okay, so we get a Guzma, which we knew was there, and we get a, a Brooklet Trainer Chip. Thank you so much for the 104 bits. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. And... Okay, so immediately another Choice Band. Immediately a Malamar. No, not go for Malamar, I think. Uh, no, no, be el escándalo, <laughs> manchas. Okay, N to six. My opponent needs very specifically metal and floatstone here. He needs metal and floatstone, and we actually have a very good hand now. So that's awesome. That is actually awesome. He puts back two Guzmas, so that's completely fine. Uh, decides to attach there, and oh, he hits the B string. Oh my gosh. He actually hit the B string. What are you gonna do, right? What are you gonna do? Um, still, my opponent's hand. Ugh, 
he hit the B-string. What are you gonna do? Okay, so we wanna, we're hoping we can retaliate with um, Diancy. However, <laughs> however, it's not very likely. I do wanna set up artillery though. I think that's priority number one. And there we go. Doc Mick, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the bits. Very kind of you. All the football bits today, guys. All the football bits. But they don't seem to be dropping into the... Why are they not dropping into the into the thing? Let me, let me try that again. Why are they not dropping into the glass? It's so empty. Yeah, I know. I need choice band. Mr. Rayleigh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, do I have Bizzle Hand here? What could I get that I wouldn't want to discard? Um, I know my Guzmas are prized. Uh, I'm gonna have Bizzle Hand. Because I'm really digging for that, uh, Diancy. Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Um, okay, so no Diancy for us. No Diancy for us. So Mr. Rayleigh, thanks so much for the extra bits. Very kind of you. And Doc Mick as well. Thank you guys so, so much. Um, okay, so my best course of action now is to leave the Ultra Crossma in range of... Um, in range of a Jet Punch, most likely, right? And I also get to do this, which is nice. And let's sledgehammer. No choice band. We got a very costly sycamore right there. We no longer have end to control our opponent's end. So not sure if that was actually worth it or not, but it's what we got. Um, replaces the stadium. That's fine. Double Malamar or Anguru. And goes for the Professor Sycamore. Okay. So no matter where this guy runs, we'll be able to knock it out with Jet Punch. And he already played Sycamore, which means um, Baby Buzz. It doesn't mean it's going to survive. It just means it's if it goes down, we're still in B-string turns. He won't get a two-prizer here, which is great. Man, Jeff, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you so, so much. And thank you, next stage. Thank you so much. <coughs> I'm gonna open that. <coughs> and I'm gonna leave it open to check it out later. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Mimikyu. So I assume my opponent has a has an energy here. I assume my opponent has an energy here. In order to retreat. Um my opponent just drawing really, really well. Really, really well. Ultra Negrosma Malamar is our first match. <laughs> thank you, thank you. What deck will I play this weekend? I'm considering this, Lucas Imao. And Titan, thank you so much for the host. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. And welcome to the stream. Okay. Um, hello, Injusta God. Thanks so much for being here. Okay, this is really not great, honestly. Ah, this is not great. This is actually not great. In order for me to knock out this Mimikyu, I mean, do I even want to knock out Mimikyu? If I knock out Mimic, ugh. Jet Punch for three prizes. Yeah, like that's the obvious play, but then how do I take my last prize card? That's the issue. How do I take my last prize card? You're playing Malmar and Cruise Mine League Cup this weekend. Solid choice? Yeah, definitely solid choice, I would say. Okay, so in an ideal situation, I'll be able to Jet Punch with this guy. Or at least. Like, leave both of them powered up. I have two energy left, so my odds of this is not very likely. 
Okay, but I do hit. That's awesome. Okay. So the question is... I mean, retreating here doesn't seem worth it. But I do have all my floatstones still left. I think I have to commit here. No, but if I... This is really difficult. I mean, yeah. That or Anguru is gonna be my last prize, I think. I have to play towards that or Anguru being my last prize, right? Yeah, Kuzma or Anguru has to be my last prize card. Um, I think... I'm gonna have Bissell Hand first and see what I get. Yeah. Okay. That's actually the best possible scenario. And LA, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you so, so much for the bits. Okay, so we're putting three energy back. And now we should be in a really good position here. Because we get to B-string, which is awesome. And thank you so much for the extra bits, LA. And we're trying to thin here. We know there's a Kuzma prized. Um, we know there's a Kuzma prized. And we know there's one in the deck still. And then we're gonna jet punch, get the three prizes, and so my opponent will 100% use uh, Donwing's GX move, correct? There's a Guzma from the prizes. So in order for him to have the best chance here, he needs to N plus um, knock us out with Donwings. And Ruben, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. And it says, Ruben activated a football giveaway. That's interesting. Cheer any amount to get football emotes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ruben. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. And the white snake is here as well. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so we should be able to close out this game. Yeah, and that Sycamore guarantees we're able to close out this game. The Sycamore guarantees we're able to close out this game. So that's good, right? That's good. World Cup hype indeed. I was watching the, the opening match earlier today. And the white snake, thank you so much for the extra bits. Thank you so much. I love the soccer emojis, but I wish they would drop into the jar. The jar looks so empty because... And bits and glory, thank you so much for choosing to use Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Very kind of you. Thank you for choosing to subscribe with Twitch Prime. And then we're just gonna very evilly deal 440 damage to that poor Oranguru. With new list of Malamar, how's the matchup now? Well, what exactly is the new list of Malamar? What would you say is the new list of Malamar, Tokmik? Um, is it with non-GX attackers? How would you classify an, the new list? <laughs> yeah, do. the Russian hackers are definitely a real thing. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all the support and everything. Thank you so, so much. Someone complained in a, in a video um, that I said thank you too much. And I'm gonna keep saying thank you. I'm definitely gonna keep saying thank you. Okay, we seem to be up against Zoropod. We seem to be up against Zoropod. <laughs> Everyone being so friendly in chat. I remember guys, if, if for some reason I missed something that you wrote, please, please, please uh, remind me. Like, just send it again and I'll be happy to respond. Um, what's up, Lonely? Thanks so much for being here. Uh, Mikael is choosing who goes first. Apparently she was born in 1881, so she's over 120 years old. She's 137, apparently. <laughs> Uh, this weekend in League Up, you're gonna play Zoropod. Yeah, I mean, I am contemplating Zoropod as well. Tabulela start, not the best one, uh, but at least we have the Floatstone, so we're hoping for a Zorua start for my opponent, so that we can start picking off the Zoruas. How can Malamar beat Zororog? I don't think it can reliably. <laughs> that was a good year, right? <laughs> Why Zoropod? I don't know, Zoropod just seems good. Okay. This is something that PTCGO artificially creates. Um, my opponent saw in the previous screen that I had a fighting type deck. And so she decided to start with Mew rather than Zerua. And obviously that's not 
um, that's not what happens in a real life game. Like in a regular match, <laughs> thank you, the White Snake. Thank you so much. In a reg in a regular match against an unknown opponent, you never start new unless you have previous information that they're running Zoro Rock. Um, but anyways, does my opponent have DCE? Does my opponent have? Um, I think I just go for the baby and smack with that. Um, does my opponent have Zorak DC? I'm gonna assume he does. So I'd rather lose one prize than two prizes. <laughs> one for each of, uh, of the golds in the games today. Okay, so now we're dead drawing. Um, not the greatest start for us for sure. Um, I don't think there's any way my opponent's gonna whiff. Um, so yeah, this might just be a tough loss to take because of this horrible hand we got after the synth, yeah. Um, yeah, my opponent just from hand has everything she needs uh, to knock us out. I guess I could have elixired onto the Lele, or tried to, to have the follow-up knockout. Um, difficult though, I need to top deck a way to, to find a basic Pokemon, because then the beast energy helps me to take a knockout here. So that would be the ideal. Um, hello, spicy chicken. Thanks so much for being here. How is Zoropod good when Puzzle one shots everything? Well, I mean, it's good if your opponent dead draws. Oh my gosh, she's playing double new. And look, look at her hand just from the start. Okay, at least, at least we got a decent follow up, right? At least we got a decent follow up. Well, decent ish. <laughs> decent ish, of course. Um, it's gonna be tough though. It's gonna be tough. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Just look at that turn two. Look at that turn two. Triple Zorg, Elizabeth, double Mew. Easy, right? Easy, guys. Very, very easy. At least he didn't get field lower. <laughs> At least he didn't get field blower. Um, what's up, Zoro variant out now? I think it's either pod or rock. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the card version, honestly. I'm not a big fan of the card version. Um, yeah, two Mews make sense. Mewtwo is definitely less powerful now because the focus is on the baby, not on the GX. He's gonna play four Azorolas. <laughs> well, we'll see. I mean, I'm not out of this yet. Right? It's only turn two. That was a crazy start, though. That was a crazy start for my opponent. <laughs> okay. So we're hoping she doesn't find a field blower to get rid of these two. My baby Buzzle, my third baby Buzzle is prized. And that's what I was hoping. Like, my ideal scenario here would have been two. Um, take another knockout with baby puzzle and then this comes up knocks me out and then I use a other baby puzzle yeah um. yeah it's like what can I do here and Manchas thank you so much for the extra bits you clearly love those um, clearly love those uh, Sogger emotes Thank you so much. Okay, so we get another two prizes. Nice. We get Baby Buzzle, so we're doing something. I didn't use Ultra Ball because um, I want to keep the energy and I might need to keep the Flow Stone. So we're hoping that my opponent will take a knockout here and then I'll knock out again. And then he'll take another knockout and then maybe by then I'll have something. Maybe. Very big maybe. If, um, if the stadium survives, I will get remembered. But it seems like my opponent might have disconnected it seems like she might have disconnected um alex <laughs> hola uh i don't know what you were trying to send because i i stopped the huh okay so my opponent decides to promote zork for whatever reason oh it, yeah she disconnected there are she 100 percent disconnected so it's sad um, we had a chance, we had a chance because we found the third baby puzzle off of the prizes, but yeah, 
Oh no, she hasn't disconnected, okay. UEX is a bad answer to boss, agreed. Um, they're cheer modes, yeah, cheer modes, sorry, not emotes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> thank you for the 1881 facts, H2WM, very fitting to the match that we're playing in right now. Okay, my opponent decides to counter Gatcher and Field Blow, and I mean counter Gatcher and Guzma. That was an interesting decision. Why would you do that? I have no idea. And Josh, hello, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much for choosing to subscribe with Twitch Prime. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you so much and welcome. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. She is running to Mew indeed. She is running to Mew, but we have the perfect answer here. So, and there's a genuine chance this puzzle survives. And I feel like I'm probably gonna have to trouble this turn. Uh, okay, so Brockruff. Do I even have enough cards? I do. I have just enough cards. I won't be able to use Brockruff this turn. So I'm gonna get rid of these two. Oh my. Oh, I forgot. Well, I didn't check that, I guess. <laughs> uh, the Remorade's not here. Remorade is not here. Bad news, guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna grab the bus then. I'm gonna grab the bus and we'll see what I get off of my prizes. Uh, but now we're in the lead. Surprisingly, we are in the lead. Um, my opponent needs double puzzle to get another knockout. Uh, Brooklyn and Elixir, just not good cards. We Cynthia into a dead card. We Cynthia into a dead hand, I mean. So, what are you gonna do? Jardim, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. Uh, she needs double puzzle, get back the Mew, get back a TC, take another knockout. And then, if we somehow top deck like a B string or something, or maybe a Sycamore. Goes for the Mallow, yeah. Um, she can, she can kill, KO the Buzz. Um, because she can double puzzle for Mew DC. So she can definitely do that. It's insane though that we're we're still in this after my opponent's got start against our single supporter start, but and we're we're just gonna run out of steam. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna run out of steam a hundred percent. There's a double puzzle. Gonna be running out of steam here, which really really sucks. Um, but nothing I can do about it. Honestly, nothing I can do about it. Um, Mew and counter catcher. Mew and counter catcher. <laughs> That's an insane start by my opponent, though. It's like she literally got the best possible start in the whole game. Benching double Mew against Puzzle, starting the Mew, triple Zork and Golisabad. She didn't even need to bench the Lele. She just got the raw Bridget. Oh no, she didn't even play Bridget. What? Oh no, she did. She did. Now it's gonna be four Zorks. Okay, there's a Riot she's beating. Yeah, I wish I had those starts. <laughs> um, okay. So we top deck N, the worst possible supporter. <laughs> the absolute worst possible supporter here. Um, I'm gonna end up using Brooklet Heal. I think I need to bench both puzzles. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna. My play is to end down to two. That's my best play. Well, that hits. Uh, Jedi. Apparently, caps are not allowed for whatever reason. Okay, so now we got the Sycamore. So, is there any chance my opponent whiffs the KO here? Probably not. And once she knocks out the Buzzle GX, 
we are hundred percent loose pretty much. Um, what are you gonna do, right? What are you gonna? Oh. <laughs> Just has the raw Kuzma. Just has the raw Kuzma. You have a good deck, Mikael. I wish I ran that hot. I wish I ran that hot. Okay. So that was obviously a loss. Oh well. Oh well. So another Zoropod. <laughs> Last game was ridiculous though. It's like, if you run that hot, you would never lose a single game. But that's not usually the norm. And Zoropod, in order to win Zoropod, needed to run that hot, I needed me to completely that draw. Otherwise, I would have had a genuine chance. Um, here once again, <laughs> another dead hand. So, this is how we're running lately. I mean, if we hit the elixir and we can pinch the rock rough, if it's not prized, it's not too bad, right? It's really not too bad. Am I gonna watch the World Cup? Yes, Sir Panage. I was watching. Um, I was watching the the World Cup earlier, Russia against Saudi Arabia. Not the most exciting game. Okay, we got Sycamore. Nice. We got Sycamore. And we can get Rockruff. And Bremerade is also not prized, so that's good. Uh, we do have one Elixir prized. We have one Cynthia prized. We have one strong prized. One basic prized. One basic energy. What's the other two, though? What's the other two prizes? Uh, Red Rock. Red Rock is priced. What's the last price then? I have no idea. Oh, Brooklet Hill? Yeah, it's Brooklet. Yeah, Brooklet Hill. Okay. And welcome. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay. So we do hit the elixir, which is actually huge. We're gonna attach energy to baby bus, we're gonna bench this guy, and we're gonna hold the sycamore for now. <laughs> Cielito lindo indeed. Two Mew is I think two Mew might be the way to go, yes. I think two Mew might be the way to go indeed. Okay. Um Bridget's into Mewtwo, that's fine, I guess. We can Brooklet for the Remoraid, which is awesome. <laughs> which is awesome. And then I think I'm gonna... I need a strong, right? I need a strong to knock out the Wimpert. If I can knock out the Wimpert here, I'm gonna be in such a good position. So I think that's definitely my play. Or at the very least, this prevents um, the Golisopod. Like, he needs a free retreater steal. So the choice band will go onto the Buzz. Yeah, because I'm going to commit another energy to it. And there's a strong. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, we get into a dead hand yet again. But... This should be fine. And Jardim, thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for the bits. Very kind of you guys. So much support. Thank you so much. Um, Tord would be correct. Even two Mew is not enough. It's just better than one Mew, one Mew two. I think. But two Mew is definitely not enough. And we get a Cynthia off of the prize cards, which is actually awesome. Get a Cynthia off of the prize cards, which is actually quite awesome we find out that my opponent's playing max potion i'm curious what torch is going to bring to sheffield this weekend and we get end that's fine um we had already picked up the cynthia we also had a kuzma to try and pick off a potential wimpad uh, but we get the cynthia back and now we have access to potential um octillery which is awesome um you're curious what Tord is going to bring to Sheffield this weekend. Um, I would assume uh, Buzzrock. 
Apparently not Zoark. Alolan Duck Trio. <laughs> Very nice Jedi. Is it for your for an iPhone, for Android phones? <laughs> Zorg Executor, that would be pretty funny. That would actually be pretty funny. Okay, so we see a Lele. If my opponent doesn't bench a Wimper, we're probably in a fantastic position here. Grabs a Bridget. Benji is testing it. I feel like if my opponent benches a Wimpert, I'm just gonna hold troll for Lele for Kuzma to knock it out. Because that that's the only thing that threatens my Lycanroc. Removes my strong, that's completely fine. Uh, field blowers away my stuff, that's also completely fine. Oh, you have the Samsung S9 Plus? Very nice. I really need to update my cell phone. It's getting to a point where it's not very usable anymore. Pedro still wants to play Zoark, yeah. Pedro is definitely going to be playing Zoark. I mean, yeah, he, Pedro is definitely going to be playing Zoark like a rock. Guaranteed he's going to be playing Zoark like a rock. Okay, so the, the hammer actually ends up being quite relevant, honestly. The hammer ends up being very relevant because now... Because now... Okay, so how do I go about this? I mean, I can still... Uh, I need a knockout this turn, right? So the cards... I mean, do I GX the Wimpud? I think I do. I think my play here is to GX the Wimpud. I generally think my play here is to GX the Wimpud. That seems to be the, the least committal way to go about it. I'm gonna GX the Wimpud. That's completely fine. That is completely fine. I get to keep the Cynthia for supporter next turn. I couldn't afford to go for Octillery. I need to GX the Wimpud. That's the only thing that threatens my Lycanroc. Because Lycanroc just starts demolishing my opponent next turn. Mega Guardi is a play. <laughs> Baby Buzz, the main MVP in all the decks. Yep, 100% that's true. Easy matchup in the meta. <laughs> I don't know though, it's so unreliable. And we get End, that's fine. We get an extra card for our efforts. An extra card for our efforts. We can get Octillery now, which is awesome. We also find an energy to knock out this Mewtwo. Best case scenario, we find a Kuzma off of the Octillery. That would be best case scenario. And my opponent just gets rid of the... There's three Wimpets now in the discard pile. So definitely less scary of a matchup. Now it's a Zoark deck against a pure fighting deck, pretty much. Um, so this is Zoark, let's put yet again. And okay, so hits me for 60. Once this guy goes down, that's perfectly fine. So I think my play here is to... The Flowstone could be important though. But I, I don't want to get rid of the Beast energy either. Okay. I do want to set this guy up though. That I do. And then... If this goes down and I only knock out the Mewtwo, then that's completely fine. Because then I have two more prizes. Two more easy, easy prizes. And we do get the Kuzma. Uh, the issue is we don't, we can't retreat anymore. The issue is we can't retreat. Um, so is it worth protecting the Lycanroc? That's the question. I'm gonna bench this guy because I have the Beast Ring already. So I'm just gonna Claw Slash, that's fine. That's fine, if we lose the Lycanroc, we lose the Lycanroc. Uh, Baby Buzzle activates, we get two prizes guaranteed and then we also have access to Beast Ring. Um, so yeah, we should be, should be fine. Like, we, we B-string 2 onto Buzzle, we attach 1 onto this Buzzle. Oh, uh, I don't think I need Diancy anymore. I really don't think I need Diancy anymore. We should be good here. We generally should be good. I might have needed Diancy, but the other Pokemon were far more important. This is a target for this, this gives me draw, this just wrecks, 
My opponent needs DC Choice Band to knock me out. Uh, no, DC Choice Band doesn't knock me out. DC Choice Band does not knock me out. DC Choice Band doesn't knock me out. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess we just Kuzma Zorak, Retreat, Knockout, and that should be game. Probably because of B-String, because of Artillery. Um, like on Rock, because I discard the INC, kind of longer knockout. Jedi, thanks so much for hanging out. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Egg Rock is the play. <laughs> and H2, thank you so much for the 1881 facts and for the for the bits for the jar. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he can win anymore. And now he goes for Golisopod, but he's gonna be very sad when this choice man doesn't knock me out. He's gonna be very sad when this choice man doesn't knock me out. Oops. 10 HP away. So. Hmm. So what's my play? Do I get rid of the wind bud? No. I mean, I could. How many energy do I have left? Oh, well, I have a ton left. Okay. So I'm gonna get rid of the wind bud, I think. No. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the wind bud. I am going to get rid of the wind bud here. And I'm gonna end up retreating, which is completely fine. I'll just abyssal hand for one. Do you think it's a good idea to build a Greninja GX deck, Grandy Lakers? Um, it's tough, Greninja GX. It's a decent card, but I don't think it's unfair enough. Like Buzzle and like Lycanroc. Um, that's the issue with it. Um, that's definitely the issue with it. Um, what do you think of the one price attacker options in Malamar? Hoopa, Mewtwo. I prefer Mewtwo because Mewtwo doesn't have any drawbacks. Once you've powered up, it can continually attack. And the ability also protects your bench from spread decks, from Buzzle spread. Um, Dawn Wings has a nice first attack, uh, but no good player is going to play into that. Uh, like, you'll never punish a good player uh, for attacking into it. Um, and then Hoopa, the first attack sets up some decent numbers, but the drawback, I feel like, is too big. Because it's not a deck like Zorg or like Buzzle um, that has draw power in, the, in a form of Pokemon, which can therefore um, consistently... Um, Consistently find the Kuzmas to reset the effect. So I think out of all of them, I prefer Mewtwo. I hate when I get a, porp, a pop tart. I can never finish it all. <laughs> oh, I could eat pop, pop tarts like there's no tomorrow. Okay, so we're not gonna Kuzma to win. So we're just gonna Sycamore into hopefully all of our outs. Um, that's a ton of energy now in the discard pile. Um. So I do want a super odd back energy though. Probably the Lele and two energy. And then I think I'm just gonna stick over here. Um, and then that's game. That is absolutely game. Maybe because of that reason I should have thrown this, but no, I was in, in, in Sledgehammer turns. So that's why I promoted Baby Buzz. And then we just knuckle impact for game. Okay. Uh, is it true in your opinion that Zorak, Zorak is fading away? I mean, it's not fading away because it's a good card. It's a good deck. It will always be a good deck. It's just not as... It just has a terrible matchup against the most popular and best deck in the world.